All right, welcome back. So in this video, we're gonna cover how to use the Hunchly Report Builder, how to kind of set up some of the elements for the report, and then what the report format looks like when it comes out. So one of the first things I recommend you do is actually head into your settings because there are some reporting specific settings that you'll wanna set. So the first is the organization name. So this is the name of your police agency, your company, your private investigation firm, or just even your own name. So we're gonna say, Hunchly people as our organization name. And if you have a logo, you're gonna to wanna to add it because it will automatically put it into the report. So you might find that the logo format will need to be played with a little bit. In here, we kind of tend to squish it down just to make it fit within this little box. And you can look at how that actually affects when your report comes out. We find that kind of um, more square logos tend to fit better inside the report template. So we've got that set. And let's go back into our export menu and click on report builder. So you can see we have our logo here at the top. Now you can import a report title. Now anytime you're making changes to your report, it's actually being saved to disk. So when you come back later, you can continue to add elements to it. So here we're gonna say awesome investigation. And that's gonna be the title of our report. Now we have a couple of elements here on the left hand side that are important to keep in mind. The first is a section. So everything must fit within a section when you are building your report. So a section will actually create a link in the table of contents as well. And we can easily edit the section name. So if we wanted to say, you know, um, investigation target, target one, that's gonna be our section name. Okay, and we have text paragraphs. So this is where you can actually add some text content. You can click this little edit button and say, this target is really interesting, or you can add whatever other elements you want. Click save, and that will now have a text paragraph in place for you. Now the page history table is very much reminiscent of the Hunchly One reporting style, where you can actually pull in the entire history of your case, and it will just list the page ID, the URL, and the date and time that you visited that URL to go into that report, so that if for some reason you want your client or the end consumer of your report to see kind of a history of all the URLs you went to, you can do that. So we'll pop one of those in. And now let's take a look at notes and photos. So notes, we can see a little, the little thumbnail screenshot of our note. We can see the text and the URL. And what we can do is we're gonna drag that into a section. So now we see we have this note here that's inside of the section. We can remove this note. There will be additional metadata that gets attached to this note as well. And we'll also grab one of our photos. So we're gonna pop this photo into the section as well. And so this photo, because it has EXIF metadata, if you remember from our earlier video, it will also put the EXIF metadata directly into the report. So it's nice and, and neat and all contained in one spot. So that's exactly how it works. Now you can also, if you have a bunch of photos that you want all to go in the same section, you can drag this all photos element and same with the notes. You can drag this all notes element into the report. Now, how the report looks at the end really depends on what your output options are here. So we do PDF or DOCX. The DOCX is unstyled. So this means it just dumps kind of the photos and the notes and the text, everything into an unstyled Word document. This is to allow you to pull that information into your own reporting templates. So it is really not designed as a final report, it's designed as something for you to use in your own templates. If you want a more stylized report that you do wanna send off to somebody, please select the PDF option. So we're gonna go export, and I'm just gonna to go to desktop, we'll leave it set to reporting Hunchly, and we're gonna go save, and so now it's actually gonna build our PDF. So let's take a look at what it looks like once that PDF is output. So we can just go here, we see it in our desktop, and I'm gonna open it with Chrome. Perfect. So this is the report, we can see who did the report, the title of the report, our logo is up here. Again, in a perfect world, I would change this logo to be more square or at least be a little larger. We can see the prepared date of when the report was actually prepared. We have a table of contents. So if we click on investigation target one, we can see our text content that we wrote is up here. We have our screenshot from our note, the note content, the date, the page hash, the URL of where we were. Now let's take a look at our photo. So we have the caption of the photo, the photo hash, image URL, page URL of where we got it. So this is the photo that we captured and all of the EXIF metadata is also contained right within the report. And then we have our full page history that we dragged in as well at the end. So this is a nice way that we can 
create a quick PDF report that we can send to clients or we can send to team members that summarizes our investigative findings. Or if we need to do more extensive reporting, of course, like I said, you use the docx option and you'll get a blank docx that you can use to massage the data into your reporting templates. So as you can see, the report builder is very easy to use. It's all drag and drop. You can add and remove elements as you see fit. This is something we're always refining. So if you run into any problems or you have any suggestions on how we can make it better, please send us an email support at hunch.ly. Thanks so much.